Hello everybody, how is everyone doing? I'm here today and I would like to share with you my ideas and thoughts and you're welcome to join and we can have a discussion. So I've been talking a lot about uh, Slavic women, about our unique qualities and how um, a lot of people finding that attractive and interesting and different. But when I was generalizing about American women, of course, I didn't mean everybody. And there are some amazing women here, of course, and a lot of them do have uh, qualities that are spectacular, you know, that not really um, reflect uh, them being any... Um, they just gifted uh, women. There are some gifted women in US as well. It's same as in any country. It just I was talking in my videos and I'm still gonna be talking about women that are uh, kind of average. You know, I live in a small town in uh, Michigan. I live in a small town near the Michigan capital. Uh, but so I see a lot of average women. And uh, yes, I've been talking about that and it's... Um, it's it's um, it's something that I don't really get, something that I don't really understand. But today, actually, I want to talk talk about some great things about just to be fair, and some things that I think Russian women should learn from American ladies. And thing number one is self respect. Is self respect. Um, in a relationship, at home, at work, uh, but mostly I would say in a family and in a relationship, our women a lot of times get exhausted. They really do put themselves on a lost place because this is how we grew up. This is what our, you know, our moms taught us and stuff like that. It was not about uh, thinking about yourself. Uh, was selfish. And I think I've learned now that if I'm empty, I can't give. Only now I've learned, like I would say maybe it was the last just a year or two maybe, that if I don't do things that are good for me, are recharging, I can't give anything to anybody. Well, in our Slavic mentality is like, um, you have to give, 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 and if you're exhausted, if you aren't happy, it's, that's not important. It's, uh, it's like an idea of sacrifice, that you sacrifice for your kids, for your husband, you sacrifice yourself, it's, you know, we don't have this thing that here in the US when you have a kid, you ask somebody to watch them, you go for a girls night out, or you take your husband on a date. I'm not saying everybody's doing this in the US, but in uh, my country, in Ukraine or Russia, it's like usually when you have a small kid, you're stuck for four years. <laughs> like, I don't know how, how many years. Unless you have some grandparents, you know, our grandparents do help, but not everybody has them. And it's not even that. It's just that a, an, an idea of not feeling guilty with uh, giving yourself some good times with recharging yourself maybe go swimming maybe go dancing maybe go to the spa place it's like what going to the spa place you can buy um food supply for your family for a week how dare you even if you make money so just saying about our mentality of sacrifice it's emotional mental financial tools that you don't have a right to spend money on yourself and also um try to do everything yourself and exhaust yourself to the level where you just can't take it anymore and not letting anybody help you you know not encourage like your husband to help you or you know your kids if they're bigger to help you so just not to go in, in, into too much, I think what I like about American women is that um, they 
understand they have to have some time for themselves. Even if they're watching somebody, if they're watching elderly, if they have a kid, they seem to uh, arrange things the way that they know they need to have some time for their own, maybe, you know, have a lunch with somebody, go make manicure. Um, they kind of more organized that way and it's naturally uh, they taking better care of themselves. Our women are very given, it's true, they give everything, but I now come to learn when you are uh, only, only given, you aren't recharging, you aren't, um, you, you, one day you're going to get exhausted and bad things might, might happen. So that's one of the things um, that I think a woman can learn. And the second thing I would like to mention just today, it's being independent. Um, I have to say a lot of our women are very independent. A lot of our women actually taking care of men sometimes, uh, taking care of kids, sometimes having three jobs, sometimes, you know, whatever. But being independent in your core, knowing that no matter what, you can make it. And you thought this way, you're making choices. You, you know, you had a kid um, 10 years after you go into school or you open a business, you're not shy. In our culture, uh, we used to have this age shaming. So, you know, if you like, it can be 25, 30, 35, 40, whatever, they will find something wrong with you, like your relatives. And uh, if you want to go and study, people will be like, what? You want to study? You're 40. Uh, but here women, if so happens that they had a child early, they're like, okay, well, I had a child now, but now I'm going to go and study. I'm going to go and uh, get a degree or I'm going to go and I'm going to figure out how I open this business. So because a lot of American women, a lot of them uh, were raised that um, you know, you have to pay your part of the bill. And, you know, also I made videos about it. You know, we do like men that are manly and generous. I think it's a great quality when you know, no matter what happens, you can take care of yourself. You don't count that someone will take care of you. And that is actually a great thing to, to be. It's a great thing to, to have because um, this way you free inside of you and you make choices that feel good to you. If you want to go for guys that may make less money or if you want to do some things that, you know, in the family you can't afford. Uh, but you can because you make your own money but it's not only about I mean money are important you know um, but it's not only about money it's about the mindset that I have a man that's great but I can do it on my own no matter what and a lot of American uh, sorry a, a lot of Russian women are like that nowadays too but in the United States it's been going on forever and I think it's good because you never know what life gonna throw at you. You need to be able to be independent emotionally, mentally, financially, and in all the other ways. You know, if you find a man who is super strong and super caring, you can let some things go uh, in a way that you don't have to consistently do everything by yourself or but if something happens, you can do it. So that's what's important. So basically today <laughs> I'm bringing up two things. Is that, you know, uh, women are, American women have more self-respect. They take better care of themselves. They don't sacrifice as much. Um, they know their value better. And that they raise to be independent. Not talking about everybody, but a lot of American women, they, they are raised independent so they know they can make it on their own and we all hope to you know to find a great love and you know find a great couple but great couple when it made out of two independent strong people that's a great relationship 
because you not rely on each other to take care of you even though you might be taking care of each other and it's wonderful but you know that you are free in this relationship something happens you can leave so you don't want to leave <laughs> because you feel you appreciate it for who you are and the other person doesn't make you responsible for uh, their problems you know because you know you work as a team and if something unexpected happens again you can take care of it oh man I really needed to, to talk about that <laughs> because I have been talking so much about how special our women are but you know nobody is perfect and we have our downsides and uh, there are some great American women out there as well I am fond especially of the older generations that's unfortunately kind of getting old now but anyways guys thank you for listening and uh, there are great people no matter where just we need to have our eyes open to see them. Thank you.